November 17, 2013, a widespread tornado outbreak invades the United States. The idea that tornadoes were going to form that day over a wide area from the Mid-South to the Midwest was very well forecast by the National Weather Service. We're staying with you live as we track what the Storm Prediction Center is calling a PBS tornado watch. That means a particularly dangerous situation. Across the region, more than 70 twisters rock the nation. Oh, it's the largest November outbreak in eight years. This is an unusual time of year, November, to have a big tornado outbreak like this. November is what we often call the second season for tornadoes. Cool season tornadoes, they're called, can actually be stronger. At approximately 11 a.m., conditions are prime for a cool season tornado. In Washington, Illinois, many residents brace for impact, but one man and his family bravely decide to watch the drama unfold. Look at this flying, baby. Look at this flying. When you're out there and you have this finger of death coming at you, you I, I can't speak for the person taking the video, you, but you are mesmerized. Oh, my God. Get in the house! Yeah. It's mesmerizing to watch. But at the same time, there has to be a moment where, good gosh, I, I, I gotta take shelter. Chris, it's coming toward us. I'm going with my baby. Go with the babies. As the tornado takes aim at the small town, darkness suddenly envelops the sky. You see it getting a lot closer, all hell breaking loose at this point. This is an absolute pre moment. Just sensory overload. What you don't realize in that small space between him and the tornado, there's probably about 150 mile per hour wind gradient. No! Leave that door so I get in! He does warn the family, tells them to take shelter, but he doesn't do it himself. Oh my god! Holy s! Okay? It's getting harder to hold the camera as it's getting windier and he's getting a little bit nervous and, and rightfully so. Look at all the rough, bro. As the wind continues to howl, time is running out to seek shelter. This is too late uh, to be taking cover. Oh my gosh, I, I hope he survives. As the man stares down the monster eye to eye, all he can do now is pray. In the twister, the man suffers minor head injuries, but is otherwise unharmed. It was just, uh, it was dumb luck, really, that uh, he didn't get killed in this uh, event. The situation could have been a lot worse, no question. 